What is our project today? I see we got all kinds of goodies here. A light fixture to go into a bathroom, some dimmer switches, a smoke alarm and carbon monoxide alarm combo, some some springs, ooh, toilet wax ring. I know a few projects I'm going to be doing here shortly. And a GFI outlet, yes. This is what I'm going to be showing you today, how to install a 20 amp GFI outlet. If that's what you want to see, stick around. Oh, I thought I was going to have some help with this project. Where are you going? I got to do this by myself? Okay. All right. I've got a GFI electrical outlet that needs to be installed out here on the deck. And I just happen to know that this electrical outlet, this GFI, this existing one, is bad. And I made an entire video on that before. And you'll just have to find it on my channel. I I show you how to troubleshoot because there is an existing GFI outlet here and it just wouldn't reset itself with the uh, breaker on or off it wouldn't reset itself so I know it's a bad GFI if you have power coming to your box and you can verify that you have power coming to your junction box and if your if your uh, GFI outlet won't reset you you know it's the power now see this here if I press the test oh no see see this is the reset the reset is the red and the black is the test and see it won't even reset a brand new one won't reset you know why because there's no power to it now if you would have had this coming out of the box with this set and if you press the test button you could pop this out but you can never push it back in until you actually have power hooked up to this do you see what I mean and that's what the problem was here this won't this test button is pushed in, is is pushed in and that popped out the reset button but the reset button will not push back in and so I ended up taking this whole thing out and then verified that the power was there and I did it with the breaker off and right now I, I do have the breaker off and so that tell, told me okay it's got to be the GF the actual GFI and see this has a, this is on a spring deal you, you just pull that down like that to get the top screw out of there and I've got to take this out and it just happens to be on the exterior and so this cover however well the way that they installed it was um, they these these screws are actually long screws that no no these aren't sorry about that these just hold the cover okay and I'm gonna save that I'm gonna reuse that and this is is a little foam deal and the sides were on there and it was so old these sides came out well Usually you've got a foam cover on there, and I happen to have some foam covers. There's actually two in here, and they're, they're, they give you different different holes and stuff to pop out. And I'm gonna end up reusing one here because the air gets in there, and if you don't have a foam cover plate like this on the inside box too, where it comes, comes out of the wall, because I know there's a junction box on the wall because this is screwed right to that. Um, You'll get air in there. And so some people, it's funny, some people just have this, this foam cover on the outside and they don't do anything on the inside. If you do that, you can, 
you'll still feel air through there because you can get air up through here from outside because we're out on a deck okay and the air will still get up inside this box and it will go into your junction box and if you were to take the cover plate out because this is an exterior wall take the cover plate out inside your house you'll feel if it's cold outside if it's in the winter you'll feel cold air coming through there and if it's hot in the summer outside you might feel hot air so I even took these and I put one on the interior uh, cover and I made a video of all that stuff too you're just gonna have to keep watching my channel man I show you all kinds of stuff so see this one I'm not gonna use anymore I'm gonna I'm gonna reinstall a new one out here and let's just well right now the power's off and I can't I can't reset that and then even when the power's on I can't reset that and that's why that's why I'm replacing this because I know this uh, this GFI it's just a bad GFI this has been sitting in here for oh, 15 years I know the condos here are 15 16 years old and it's and see this this one just happens to have a red button and a black button these have white buttons and it cracked me up at the store I found one with the white buttons okay exactly the same as this but this one is two dollars was two dollars cheaper than the one with the white buttons I don't know why so you just you just have to look at the store and see what you can find in fact they had they had a ton of different uh, GFIs and this one happens to be a 20 amp now why did I why do I install why am I getting a 20 amp because lots lots of time your interior ones might be 15 amp if it's on a 15 amp breaker you can get by with a 15 amp but I would not suggest putting a 15 amp GFI on a 20 amp breaker and I looked on here before and I can see right on the side here it says 20 amp and I look in my electrical panel and it's a 20 amp breaker so when I went to the store I wanted to make sure to get a 20 amp okay rather than the 15 amp look at the stores very important that you get the right one for the right thing and you know the 15 amp were almost the same price as the 20 amp Isn't that funny I see how fat that is I got to get that in there and that one's fat too it, it'll be it'll be pretty easy to to uh, replace this because I think I only have to mess around with a couple wires okay okay well you keep watching I've got the breaker off right now so my next step is I've got to undo those screws and you know I'm still gonna be careful with it because I'm pretty sure I'm a 99.9% .9 sure that you know they that the electricians were right when they said that particular breaker that I turned off said back deck uh, plugs but there's only one plug out here on the back deck and so you know when I get that unscrewed I'm actually going to uh, uh, I'm actually gonna pull it out here and then I'm gonna test it with my wire testers and then I'm also going to turn the breaker back on and test it really quick and then turn it back off so I know 100% uh, that I've got the right breaker and that there's no power in this box you don't want to do this hot okay see how long that that screw is that's because it this box is has a cutout in the back of it and it's screwed into the junction box that's inside the wall and that's just that's how they do that it's kind of slick see this whole this whole thing is loose now and but I'm not really gonna mess around with that much okay I'm gonna leave that pretty much alone I'm just gonna take this part and slide that out if I can and I can see the box in there it's a it's a cut-in box that they installed and they had they actually have one of these back there too I don't know why they I don't know why they did that they don't really need one right there because it, it's just 
around the edge that does nothing and but if I take it out see they they haven't really painted they painted around this with this black uh, thing on you know trim on around so I'm just gonna leave that alone let's see that's as that's as far as I want to I want to pull that out I'm just gonna show you you see it's only it's only connected with the black wire the white wire and the ground wire okay so let's see if I can't get you situated a little bit closer here so you can see those wires and I'm pretty sure uh, the power is off I'm gonna test this on there and it shows it's off I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, double check I mean there everything should be fine I'm gonna turn the breaker back on real quick and make sure that my testers working properly and that I've got the right one I don't like messing with wires that are hot I don't want you to do it either so go the extra mile it only takes you a couple minutes okay I've turned it back on and my light my light is showing red it's powered let's see what you to see you see the bottom of my of my green see it's red I think you can see that just having a hard time showing you I think you can see that see yeah okay so now it's on right now and so that was the right one so I'm gonna turn the breaker off again and then you know even if you want to be more safe you can turn the breaker off you can put some masking tape over it and, and write off on it keep off or something like that I've, I've done it before where somebody walked around on the outside of the house they pop the uh, electrical panel cover open. They turn the breaker off. They kind of close the electrical panel cover, but they didn't latch it. And some kids were playing out there, and somebody was messing around, and they thought, oh, hey, look, there's a breaker that's off, and somebody turned it back on while somebody was working inside the house, and they got shocked. You don't want anything like that happening, so be safe rather than sorry, okay? I'm gonna turn that power back off that breaker and double check it again before I start working on this electrical GFI outlet. Now, here's another reason why I check it. You might think, why are you gonna check it again, Joe? Just turn the breaker off and let's get on with it. Well, depending where your breaker is and your electrical panel, you might think, oh yeah, I know which one it is. It's, it's, the, it's the fourth one down on the left. Maybe it's the fifth one down on the left, or maybe it is the fourth one down on the left. You go back in there and turn it, turn off the fifth one down on the left when you were supposed to turn the fourth one down on the left, and you'd start messing with this and you shock yourself. I've, I've had that happen to myself before. Okay, I'm testing that, and, I, and it's off. It's off, I can, I can see it on my, my green tester. So now, now, I'm gonna, before I take this off, I'm just gonna look at it a little bit. Now see, that one, you see how, how this, is, this is facing up like that? And we're gonna look at this close. Looks like the top screw's got this yellow thing on it, says attention. And um, let's see if you can see that. See, and that, and that goes all the way around over to here and you might think what is that for now let's let's just look at our one because usually what I do is is I'll take this like for like and if it's if it's facing up like that uh, you might think oh, okay just take the just take the 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 bottom right hand screw off and the bottom left hand screw and put it on like for like but but see see here this is facing up, I want it facing up, and I know this is this is facing up because the wording, you can't really look at the wording here because the test is said reset there and test, and if you flip it up, you can still see reset and test because it's written upside down. I mean, it's written right side up, 
and right side up. There's two. I don't know why they do that. Because you should know which side's right side up. Usually right side up is with the with the ground at the bottom like that. See the ground's at the bottom over there. And so I'm gonna call that right side up. That little hole, this one in particular, this light, little light will go on there when there's power on. This one doesn't happen to have it. But see, funny thing, here's my little yellow tag. See how it says attention, blah, blah, blah. Okay. That's there for a reason. Don't take that off unless you're gonna hook this up in tandem with other things, meaning if you want everything down the line from here, anything that's wired, the next plug, the next plug, the next plug, then you'll have the power coming in, power going out, let's say. And the power coming in would go up here. The power going out to any other electrical outlets, you take this, this plastic off and then you would connect up these screws down here with the power going out to your other plugs, then this GFI would protect all your other lines going downhill, if, if there were more, okay? Then you wouldn't have to take, you, would, you wouldn't have to take out a regular electrical outlet over here thinking, okay, I have to, I have to, I, I want this one GFI'd and the next one and the next one, and so I gotta get three GFI's and hook them up. With, not necessarily if they're in tandem on this same circuit but they have to be after this one. It can't be before that one because then that won't work. It's everything down the line from there. Do you see what I'm saying? And so when I look at this, that's on the bottom, right? So that tells me I've gotta, I've gotta connect to these top screws, not the bottom screws, okay? Like this one. They just happen to do that one the very opposite. Do you see? So I'm gonna connect, I'm gonna connect my black the, is to the gold screw and the white to the uh, silver screw. And usually the neutral side is always longer. That slot is always longer than the hot side. See that? Did you know that? And 20 amp usually has this little slot on the side. I find that kind of interesting because even though this is in fact a 20 amp and I can see it over there, it doesn't have that little slot on the side. You don't need that to plug things in. A lot of times 20 amp electrical outlets have that slot nowadays, okay? But on this particular one, they didn't. That's okay. And I'll take, I'll take these little mounting screws off of here. I won't, even, I won't even use those, obviously. I'll use the long ones because the long ones hold this box in place too, okay? And so here I've got my ground screw. I've got my white. My white wire is gonna go on this side and my black wire is gonna go over here, okay? That's all, that's all I'm gonna do with this. And, and on this one, that's gonna be my next step. On this one, I see that there's actually a hole on the side. That's kinda, that's kinda slick, because see, the black wire goes into a little hole there on the outlet. Lots of them don't have that on the back, see? Don't have that on the back. And I might I might be able to you know if that's if that's a straight wire, I might be able to put just you know when the screws when this screws loose, this will come out and I can poke the black wire right right in there. There's my little hole. I can call that my little hole right there, see? Right, right there. I can put it there or I can put it up there. I don't necessarily have to have to take the wire, strip the wire back, and then fold it around this screw, tighten it up, and all that. I could just do it back here, tighten it. When I tighten this side screw down, it's gonna tighten down on that wire. And I can do that on both sides. Okay? So I'm I'm ready to remove this plug. See, it's not gonna be that hard, is it? Anybody can do this. You don't have to be an electrician for this as long as you know how things work. And it's got, and it's got the direction sheet in here and all kinds of stuff like that. And if, if, as long as the power is off, 
you just take the wires off and rehook it up the same way you found it from before. And interestingly enough, most most GFI outlets come with some little decals. And I pull this out of here. Look at that. See this? These are little decals. Good lord. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six decals. I could I could peel these off. See how they peel off? That is for if you and, and I'm gonna save these by the way. That is for, like I said, if you're if you're hooking this up and if you have some regular electrical outlets downstream from here and you're gonna hook it up that different way that I was telling you and you want this to be GFI protected, this one to be GFI protected, this one to be GFI protected, on the cover plate you would take one of these decals and on the regular cover plate on your regular duplex electrical outlet and over here and over here you would just put that decal that says GFI protected okay and then somebody would know okay that's hooked up and that is in fact a GFI uh, protected outlet and sometimes people forget to put those on other times they come off or maybe somebody repaints all their the house and they take those cover plates off and they forget they they forget where those cover plates go or they take those decals off and then the next person doesn't realize that those electrical outlets are GFI protected okay there's ways to test that too but that's that's not part of this particular video okay all right so I am I am ready to take this to disconnect this now that's my next step hey step by step you can do it too and speaking of that you know, if you hired an electrician to come out here and troubleshoot your existing GFI and for him to install a new GFI, how much is that going to cost you? I mean, this thing, this thing was almost 20 bucks, you know, 18 something before tax. And then your time for the electrician to come out, his service call fee and his hourly fee and all that, it, it could be 100, it could be 125 bucks. You know, 20 bucks for the material, $100 trip charge, or $125 plus parts, $150. Electrician might charge you for this, or a little bit less. You know, hey, you might want to watch this video, and your next one, it's going to be free labor, because you're going to be doing it. All you got to do is buy this. Such a deal. Okay. Got my breaker off. I've tested my wires. I'm gonna do that again. Sometimes I forget when I'm talking and forget to turn the power off. Or some. The last thing I did I, is I, I. What did I do? I installed a light, light fixture. I had to turn the breaker off when I got all done. I forgot to turn the breaker back on for some reason. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Mommy came home and she's like, hey, how come the light's not working? I'm like, uh-oh, I know why it's not working. <laughs> okay. Usually, I'll, usually I'll, I'll take the ground out first, but I'm not going to do that this time. And, you know, my hands are going to get in the way and stuff, but basically I'm just undoing this, this black screw over here. And see, I've got it loose. And that should just, that should, should pull out of there. And it might still be spring loaded inside. We'll see here in a minute. I'm gonna undo the uh, white screw over here. We'll see if that just slides out. Yeah, see it just slid out, see there? And this white one's just gonna slide out like that. Okay, now, now I can take this and twist it down and get this ground, the ground wire off. And usually the ground wire is 
uh, twist it on there. And you see, I'm just gonna make the little twist a little bit bigger with my screwdriver if I can. I can. Okay. Just a little. I'm hoping I don't have to undo the, the ground screw all the way. Give this a little bend in a different direction and pull it off. Okay. Now this, this GFI outlet is bye-bye. And before I do that, I'm going to take the ground screw out because lots of times I can use that ground screw for something else to ground a box, an electrical uh, metal junction box or something like that. Let's see. So you can save that and reuse that. Okay. That's all I'm going to do for that right now. Now, we're ready to hook that back up after I take a quick look at this. Okay, ready to hook this up, and I'm going to do it back in sequence. I'm just going to, I'm just going to back this ground screw out because I'm going to hook the ground up first. Okay, and oh, I've got to take these the mounting screw, and sometimes it's got a little cardboard washer thing on the back to keep this from falling out, but and you can pull it out. And then, you know, you can push this back on. You don't necessarily have to screw it on. You can just, you can just push it or, or screw it, whatever. And see, these are brand new. These are brand new screws. I can save those. No need to throw those away, right? And see, this bottom one doesn't have that cardboard thing. Some, some do that, which is kind of nice. There's a little uh, tab on there that keeps it tight. You see, you just push it on there like that and it holds okay so again I'm saving that screw I don't throw stuff away okay now I'm just gonna undo this screw there should be a stop on here it shouldn't fall out yeah see it just stopped right there in fact I don't really need to do it very far because it's already unscrewed a little bit and so I should be able to put my black wire in on there and my white wire just fine slipping it right right in that little area okay making sure the gold the gold part is is on the outside okay so you you just have to make sure that's that's pushed back like that you don't want to have that pushed in then obviously the wire is not going to fit in there okay So I should be able to, uh, I'm just going to re reposition that little backing plate. That gold piece can fall out like that, see? Now it's kind of in my way, so I get that pushed out. And I want to twist this on the same direction as I'm tightening the screw. Okay, now I can, I can flip that around. I can tighten that up. Oh look at that! I just, I just, I just crimped this this uh, ground wire just by doing that. Instead of using my my strippers, my crimper, usually I'll usually I'll take my uh, my wire strippers and just use the tip and grab that kind of tweak it just a little bit before I put the screw on. But I didn't have to. Okay. So now I got the bottom. Now I can just twizzle that back up. And I know instead of using the bottom screws, I'm using the top screws. And so, see, I'm going to have to uh, uh, reposition those bottom wires. I'm just going to rebend them straight. Because I'm, I'm using the top screws this time instead of the bottom because that's just how this one tells me to do it I want, I want that straight see 
And let's just see if I need to rearrange the wires. No, I think I think it'll I think it'll work good, right? Like that. Okay. So I'll just do I'll just do the white wire first. I'm putting it back behind behind that. And seeing how far it's gonna go in. And it's it's going, it's going and it's hitting. It looks like it's hitting the bottom. <laughs> With just a little bit of the uh, copper wire showing. I wanna see if I can't, if that's as far as it's gonna push in. Yeah, that's as far as it's gonna push in. So I'm gonna cut that, the tip of the wire, just a little. Okay, one very much. And I'm gonna make the black one just a hair shorter. You don't want too much of the, of the back side of the wire showing after we get it in here, okay? Okay, so I've got it down tight and I'm gonna just tighten this screw up here. Oh, you know what? Maybe I try loosening the screw. Oh, there. Remember, I didn't have the screw loose all the way. So now I got it down further. That's just fine. Uh, like that. And that's okay. I've got plenty of the black, uh, or plenty of the copper stranded, or er, solid wire showing. It's fine. Okay. I'm gonna hold that in there all the way. See, I didn't have to strip the wire back, make a curly Q on it or anything. Okay, there, there we go. That's it. It's simple. That's all, that's all you're gonna do, Joe? That's all you gotta do for this? Yeah, now I'm ready to push that right back in the box. Are you learning anything yet? I hope you are. Okay, that's gonna be up like that. I'm just pushing this in. Let's see if it's gonna go. See if I need to tweak it sideways or, or anything. It looks it looks actually pretty darn good. Feels like it, it can go in all the way. And I'm not, you know, I'm, it feels like I'm hitting wire back there but I'm pushed up tight too, so I'm good, okay? If I was out too far, I would know it's hitting a wire nut or I might, might have to tweak the wires a little bit. Okay, and that's just going back to that other box. And it should, it should start screwing and reattaching to that. And my, my little black piece here looks like it's, uh, I don't know if it's slid or not. Yeah, just barely. See, I wanna, I wanna kinda get it up where it was before. Ah, what, what's happening here? Oh, oh here we go. Oh, <laughs> the box, the box shifted slightly when I was messing with it. I'm trying to get the box back up where it was. Where that cover was. Ah. I could just rip that black thing off of there. Eh, I'm not going to really see it much. <laughs> but it was up where the painted line was. I can I can tell it used to be pushed up further, but it's not gonna, it's not really going very well, is it? Might just not really mess with it.
that's the deal, yo. Ooh. Ah. Well, what happened there? Oh, it twisted on the, it twisted on the little cover. That's what it, that's what happened. Gonna, that's gonna be fine. That's where it was. I think when I disconnected it, the uh, wire or the junction box it goes down below the deck, that wire, the exposed wire here. And come on. And it shifted a little bit. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to find the hole back in there. I'm trying to hold it up and screw it at the same time with one hand. I don't know why the the uh, GFI outlet, the, the initial one, stopped working. All I can presume is because it's outside. Uh, even though with the bell box cover on, uh, you know, it lasted 15 years, and it could have gotten some moisture in it once upon a time, right? Okay, now this thing is not going to set or reset or test until I turn the power on, right? It just doesn't do that. You've got to have the power on. So for kicks, before I put this, before I put the box on and screw it in, because I've got to cut, I've got to cut the foam, this foam trim around and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna turn the power on and test this out and make sure it works properly. It should. Okay, I turned the power back on. I have not tested anything yet. You're gonna see what I see for the first time. All right now, this reset button needs to be pushed in. Right now, if I put this tester in, it should be off. Okay, wiggle it around. This, this power should be off, and it is. Okay, you see there? So, so far so good. Now, I'm gonna push this in. You should be able to push it in with your thumb. Did you hear it click? It clicked, it popped in, and I know that because the green indicator light is on. Do you see that? So now, that tells me I should have power to both sides of that. We're going to test it here. See my orange lights on there? And I'm going to put it up here. The orange light is on. Okay. So now it's working. Yippee. Well, if you want to ever test your GFI to make sure it's working, press the test button. And this happens to say test on here. When I press the black button, it should pop the red button out. Hey, okay, popped it out. It popped out. The light's off. Right there, you see? No light. And when I put this in, it should be off. Okay, no power. No power. All that means is there's no power to this electrical outlet. However, all the wires back inside of there, they're still hot, so don't be shoving your screwdriver in there and working on a GFI electrical outlet thinking, oh, I don't have to turn off the breaker 
video, Joe says you have to turn off the breaker first. I don't have to do that. See, there's no power here. There's nothing here. Well, come to find out there is power back there if you start pulling that out and sticking your, your screwdriver where it's not supposed to be stuck. Okay, so now I can, I can test that. It's back on. The power's on. The light, the light is on. This little orange light is on. It's on up here. Wiggle out a little bit. It's on. The, or, the I say orange light. That's not an orange light. The green light. Sorry about that. The green light is on. Now the green light's off because I just pressed it into test. Now there's your reset button. See how it says reset? You can't really see the test because it's in black. If you can't Sometimes that, if when your GFI electrical outlets get old, sometimes you can't push it in all the way with your finger. You think, oh shoot, it's not working. Video Joe says if you can't reset it, you got to replace it. Dabity nabbit. And then, and then you you get a screwdriver, and you push it in with a screwdriver. Oh, it's already. You push it in with a screwdriver. And son of a gun, you get it just that little bit further, and it will reset. So before you think you need to replace one, make sure your test buttons are, you can actually turn it on or off. And again, I say, if you can't do that, you know it's bad. You turn your electrical breaker on, you can't, off. If I turn the electrical breaker off right now, I wouldn't be able to... Uh, reset it if it's if it's reset now I could with the power off if I turn the electrical breaker off right now I could then press that test button in and that'll pop out but I won't be able to reset it with the power off does that make sense okay so if you have that you know you're gonna have to replace it okay so pretty much putting the rest of this together is pretty self-explanatory. Not all bell boxes are the same, the cover plates. This one just happens to have this on there. So, you know, see it's, it's, it's got the springs on there to pop that up and it, and it snaps back. And the springs are also on there. So you can grab it and just pull down on it to get the mounting, to, to get the mounting screw screwed on there, do you see? But like I say, before I do that, I've got to trim this out, and I've got I've got my my carpet scissors here. Oh, you got to get some of these if you don't have any. Um, most box stores nowadays have them. I think the Home Depot has them, but I got these at a carpet wholesale house uh, where they sell glue and, and baseboard and all kinds of stuff, tools and stuff. And I got this. I got these years ago, and they're still really super sharp. And I I I take care of them. And I keep them somewhere where they don't get buggered up. I do not keep those in my nail bag. Of course, I don't do that. And those are good to, to get washcloth tags off, towel tags when you buy a towel, a bath towel with that on, pillows, throw pillows. These come in handy for all kinds of stuff, as well as trimming carpet frays and stuff around door jams and baseboards and carpet seams and all that kind of good stuff. Got to get some of those. All right, we got her. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna put that cover on. I, I don't need to turn the power off now. I can be careful with that. Okay, well that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. I don't know what I'll show you next, and it'll be something. And hopefully you'll learn more ways to save your money around the house.